Welcome to Chaos Cortex. Hey guys, welcome back. So the other day I was farting around on Thingiverse, as I often do, and I came across a stress test for your 3D printer. And it just has a couple little tests that you can print that will um, show you what your printer and your filament sort of are capable of. And believe it or not, pushing my printer to its limits resulted in this little thing, proving that size doesn't matter. Well, stupid jokes aside, there's actually some pretty interesting stuff on this little guy, so let's go take a look. Okay, so here is the file on Thingiverse. It's called Test Your 3D Printer. Um, it's by Control V, C T R L V, um, and put a link in the description um, so you can go right to it. Um, so let's download that, and then we'll open up our slicer of choice. Um, and I use Matter Control. Um, I'm actually in the process of transitioning to Cura. So expect to see that in some upcoming videos. This is just what I use in the meantime. So let's check out the settings. I've got it set for my printer up there. And then um, if I go over to the settings, I have it on high quality preset, which basically just means that the layer height is 0 0.1 millimeters. Um, I'm just using two parameters and then 25% info. And then nothing else to um, specific here for this. Let's go ahead and see. It looks like it'll take about 50 minutes to print um, at high quality settings. So that looks like it'll do pretty good. So let's see how this does. Okay, so here we have our stress test, and as you can see, this is really tiny. Um, and the description on these on Thingiverse was not the best, so I'm not really sure what all of them are, what all the different tests are, but um, let's take a quick look and see how well my printer and this white PLA filament performed. So first thing you probably noticed was the this right here. And that was the bridge support, or lack of support, just that bridging test and it did pretty well. It got um, these no problem and got to the third one which I believe is eight millimeters decently okay. You can see it kind of tilted back there um, but the 16 millimeters it just did not handle at all. But you know what I'm decently satisfied with that because it's very rare that I have something that I need to bridge that far that I couldn't put just a support in there. So that's cool um, and it did this star pretty well. I'm not sure what that's testing maybe just the the pointedness of it. You can kind of see there. It came out pretty good. And then this sphere. Um, I printed this at 0.1 millimeter quality. So I don't know how well you can see it, but that sphere is smooth as crap. So I would say success on that sphere. Um, this pyramid looks really good. There's a little bit of stuff on the top there. And I think that's just where my print finished. Um, so there's just a little bit of residue when it um, pulled up to go back to its starting position. Um, and then this is just the hollowed out sphere, um, and that looks amazing as well. It's completely smooth in there. And that little black dot was just some uh, residue from my black filament that I've been running through there. So don't think too much of that. Then their little logo here, this control V, did not come out um, hardly at all. And this M4 looks pretty good. Um, I don't actually have an M4 screw or M4 nut to test that, but um, I think that's the right size. And then we can actually test these other, because um, these three, four, and five, that's millimeter diameter for these um, for these holes. So let's test the five. And that is spot on the five. I don't know if you can see that. And let's check the four. Yeah, spot on on the four. And same for the three. So that actually came out really freaking well. Um, and yeah, the unsupported angle here, I think it starts out relatively low and then goes to a 45 degree angle, which is what they say that printers should be able to handle before it starts to droop and, um, collapse basically. 
and it handled all of them really well. It, none of them started to collapse, so success on that. And then, I'm not sure what all these squiggly lines are, but those look pretty much like the, the model had it. And then these over here, um, I think this was just the um, testing, because in the model on the computer, they just get smaller and smaller as they go down. Um, and those did not print uh, like pretty much at all. But I don't really know what they're expecting because I have a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So I don't really think I can get smaller than that um, when it comes to this. So I don't know. I think that's a, a success. Well, there you guys have it. I, I thought this was a pretty interesting test. So if you want to perform this for yourself, I'll put the links down in the description. You can go check it out on Thingiverse. And then I think I'll leave it at that. Make sure you like and subscribe. And that's all for me, guys. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. It helps me out a lot. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at ChaosCoreTech. And once you've done all that, check out some of these other videos I've made. Thanks for watching, guys.